Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation with an integral. So we have the integral of x times f prime of x dx equals x squared plus x plus k. And we're also given that f of 1 is equal to 5. And we're going to evaluate f of e, e being the Euler's number. So we're going to find an expression for f of x first, and then we're going to substitute x equals 1 to use the information that f of 1 is equal to 5. So let's go ahead and proceed. We have the integral of something on the left hand side. So if we differentiate both sides, since integration and differentiation are kind of inverse operations, they'll undo each other. In other words, they're going to cancel out. You can also kind of look at the integrand, which is x times f prime of x. Uh, you can also use integration by parts like u, d, v stuff, but uh, it's not really going to help you. It's just going to make it a little longer. So we're not going to use that. We're just going to differentiate both sides. So let's go ahead and do it. If you differentiate both sides like this and like that, you're going to get the following. First of all, these two are going to cancel out. And then we're going to end up with x times f prime of x. Of course, the x is also going to uh, magically disappear. The derivative of x squared plus x plus k. k is a constant, by the way, and which comes up as a result of, you know, of um, anyways, I just couldn't remember the term. What is it? <laughs> indefinite, indefinite integral, yeah. So that's going to disappear. So the derivative of x squared is 2x plus 1 and the derivative of k is 0. Now, we are trying to find f prime, uh, f of x, so let's go ahead and divide both sides by x to find f prime. So from here, x cancels out, and we end up with f prime of x equals 2 to x divided by x plus 1 over x. So this is the derivative of f prime. So now, if we integrate both sides, we're going to find f of x from here. So in other words, if you integrate f prime x dx, which is integrating 2 plus 1 over x dx, that is going to give you the value of f plus a constant, of course, right? So let's go ahead and do it. When we integrate the left hand side, I'm just going to write it as f of x for right now, and I'll take care of the constant on the right hand side. Okay, what is the integral of 2? That is just 2x, because it's x to the power 0, you just add 1. Or think about it, the derivative of which function is 2, and the answer is 2x, right? Okay, if you know the rules. The integral of 1 over x, unfortunately, cannot be done by using the power rule, because if you use the power rule, you get x to the power 0 divided by 0, which is meaningless, right? So we have a special rule. You can also think about it if you know the rules of differentiation. The derivative of each function is 1 over x. The answer is ln x. But we have to guarantee that x is greater than 0, so we use ln absolute value of x. And as I said earlier, we have to add a constant at the end because these are indefinite integrals. You don't need constants on both sides because if you have constants on both sides, you can basically absorb them into a single constant. Okay, so this is an expression for f of x. That's actually really cool. If they asked us to find f of x, this will be the answer. But we're looking for something else. We know f of 1 is equal to 5. So let's go ahead and write it down. f of 1 is equal to 5. And from here, we're supposed to find f of e. So how do you find f of e? You can replace x with e. But why were we given f of 1 equals 5, right? That was given as an initial condition so that we can plug it in and find the value of c. So c is a general constant, but in this particular case for x equals 1, it is going to have a definite value. So let's go ahead and replace x with 1 in f of x. So f of 1 becomes 2 times 1 plus ln absolute value of 1, which is ln 1 plus c ln1 is equal to 0 by definition of logs, natural log, and f of 1 is given as 5. So we get 2 plus c equals 5. Hopefully you see what I see. And from here we get c equals 3. Awesome. 
Now we got the value of C, which we can plug in to write f of x. f of x can be written as 2x plus ln absolute value of x plus C, which is 3. And we're supposed to find f of E, replace x with E, 2E, or not 2E, that just didn't work, plus ln E plus 3. ln E is equal to 1 because it's just a natural log base. And we get now 2E plus 4 as the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.